Let's take a look at this example in which we need to identify the vertex of the parabola and then write the equation of the parabola in vertex form. So as a quick recap, vertex form is y equals to a times x minus h to the second power plus k, where the vertex is the point h comma k. So first, let's identify the vertex of the parabola. The vertex is this point right there, which is the point 3 comma negative 1. So the h value is 3, and the k value is negative 1. Now, we know part of the equation, so let's plug that in. So in step 2, when we want to find the equation, we have y equals to a, which is unknown, times the quantity x minus h squared. So h is 3 in this case. So that's going to be x minus 3 squared plus k. So since k is negative 1, instead of writing plus minus negative 1, I'm just going to write minus 1. Now the equation is almost complete, but we're still missing the a value. So to find the a value, we need to find any point on the parabola. It doesn't matter which point. We just have to pick one point. So we could pick the point 2, 1, um, or we could pick the point 4, 2. It really doesn't matter as long as it's uh, uh, an exact point without any any decimals. Okay, so let's go with let's just go with two comma one. It doesn't matter which one. Um, you look at the same answer regardless. So we're going to choose the point two one. So if if I choose the point two comma one, this point, then my x value is two, and the corresponding y value is one. So I'm going to replace the y with one. The a is unknown, and I'm going to replace the x value with 2. OK, so let's go ahead and, and keep simplifying this. We have 1 equals to a times negative 1 squared minus 1. This gives us 1 equals to negative 1 squared is 1. So that's going to be 1a, which is a minus 1. And then if I just add 2 to both, sorry, add 1 to both sides, then I get a equals to positive 2. So my equation is y equals to a, which is 2, times x minus h, which is 3, to the second power, minus 1. And notice that if I had chosen the second point, which is 4 comma 1, I would get the exact same thing. So I'm going to work through that, through that real quick. So instead of 2 minus 3, I would instead have 4 minus 3. Remember, the x value is 4, but the y value is 1. That doesn't change. 4 minus 3, that's going to become, instead of a negative 1, it'll this time become a positive 1. But negative 1 squared or positive 1 squared, it still gives you 1, which is just 1a or a. And we end up with the exact same answer. OK, hope that was helpful.